The only people who can have any harm coming to them are those who oppress. Simple as that. Three pound pressure, no weight lesser. Drop the oppressor, make no surrender. Three pound pressure, no weight lesser. Drop the oppressor, meet no surrender. Three pound pressure, no weight lesser. Drop the oppressor, meet no surrender. Three pound pressure, no weight lesser. Drop the oppressor, meet no surrender. It's time for a change, got a bouncer. The oppressor's about to get tossed up. I'ma lay your mouth, execution style's too late, but apologetic claim. You wrapped in a coca, blame my God, it's overdue. Your time is in the end. Locked out, silent without sin. He put me on the planet for justice to win. The oppressor's about to get rolled down. With some pressures attached in the war zone. Revolution could start in the Arizona. I'm a messenger prophet like Terracon. Backed by the honorable who sits at the pinnacle. Who judges the hypocritical, cynical, and the plentiful simple. My thinking is critical. I'm just ventilating of the actions of the protective service. Quick to pull the clock, blast, and kill this. Don't take any type of skill. I'm ill of all citizens who have it took a stand. Or oh, it's too late when the caps get filled. Don't believe in GC type. Going hits close to home. You gotta act the bone, but it got the dome when it's on the zone. All red and my vision through sight. It's gonna be killed whenever I fight. From above, I've been given the right. So you better be ready to ride tonight. On the way to the dawn daylight. We gon' get them all, so gon' pass the kite. Three pound pressure. No weight lesser. Drop the oppressor. Me, no surrender. Three pound pressure. No weight lesser. Drop the oppressor. Me, no surrender. No weight lesser, drop the oppressor, no weight no surrender, three pound pressure, no weight lesser, drop the oppressor, make no surrender. This world is such a, um, and when I say this world, I mean it. I don't mean in the ideal sense, I mean in the uh, everyday, every little thing you do. It's such a, gimme, gimme, gimme. Everybody back off. You know, everybody's like, if you taught that from school, everywhere, big business, you want to be successful, you want to be like Trump. Gimme, 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 push, 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 step, 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 crush, crush, crush. That's how it all is, and it's like, nobody ever stopped. Dark creates the spark, weighs the heart as I sun ray my offer, make the case we are. Most social media saviors are fixed. Marks once we make knowledge, one is when time and space rock. The great matrix arc, whether it's day or dark, creates this spark. Weighs the heart as I sun ray my or her make the patriarch. Most social media saviors are fixed. Marks once we make knowledge, one is when the run and base rock. I rose up, took a shower, purified my arc feel, took copper for a wall to ensure my chlorophyll is pumping. Done some pros for sure, I've more to build. Solid foundation, my crown chakra for a hill pound the pavement sacred ground freedom i stand for free all political prisoners of war man or woman and child with the land of all foreign and alien entities i decree this morning send them back to which they came is the peace laugh or war cry whatever the relevant name of east path simple highest form spiritualities how you teach math a humble beast is still a beast now feel the beast wrath Rain fire on them and the internet forms. Sigils, emojis, and the avatars that wore them destroyed this de facto government and its quarrels. 
established Big Ma house so she may restore him The great matriarch Whether it's day or dark creates the spark Ways the heart as I sun ray My art her mate the patriarch Most social media saviors are fakes Marks once we make knowledge born is when time and space rock The great matriarch Whether it's day or dark creates the spark Ways the heart as I sun ray My art her mate the patriarch Most social media saviors are fakes Marks once we make knowledge born is when we'll play a little later right we'll play a little later right i don't know why i put it on my head you know? And then let my head breathe. Rap first sacrifice at each other for percent they pass section. Watch videos with other subliminals. Predictive programming weirdo. Shrunk menstrual shows. The lens contaminated fruits and vegetables. Like minerals, the water and sky stop frying. Nuclear chemicals, technology. Got me here in front of my desktop. Perusing these beats and whatnot for my best option. Contemplating. Which bar will next spot to unlock the minds that are stuck come within on, the on. spots off the chart? I continue to climb, the watching world. the rest flop like heart fishing 100 percent fresh shark water. I'm on the front line, X marks the spot. He's something else because of her. Hey, Marcus the Delusion, what's going on? Her boy, Devin, what's going on? We're gonna get a kick in here in a minute. Snow, what's up, my that's me and more. What's going on, guys? Come on. You might like this one. I'm going to do my best to keep it kind of tame, all right? I put the catnip in the window. They can eat it, you know. But man, he's going to get them running and jumping up and doing spider cat. You're going to be all over the place. Why is my thing? So I was about to cut it off this morning so I can let my beard come in fully. So it's kind of crooked because it was wet still. So. Come on. Into the black light. Into the light. What's up? Into the black light. Into the we got little things flying around outside. From the crow poop. I don't know. It's not deadly. But nah, they flying everywhere. They want explanation, little things. I don't know if they knew. Uh, Show me back again. You know what I mean? The towel, then you're back and said, We need the Holy Spirit. Please oh, you love it. Hit the front door. I'm a mushroom. The child is great. We can now begin. Now the truth be told. The wrath, no delight to let the youth get old. And follow hey. in the one that was so good. Check it out. For those who get them drinking like those. Mud water ain't all that good. I told you I got two. The first one's good. The second one's like it's dead, 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 intentionally poisoned. So I gave it to a friend of mine. His ex Air Force. He's uh, he was uh, a lieutenant colonel. He's about 74 years old. He's testing everything that I give him, and that's where a lot of people in Texas and all these places are getting their stuff from. That he's testing everything. He got strands of people's that stuff from their heart. He's the one who told me. All that 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 back stuff is the stuff that created it. This guy is like he's like I can't say what he was, but in the government and what he did for black sites, like he don't tell me he can't tell me everything. I don't even mention his name, but he tests everything. That's why I said they're randomly poisoning food, Just put it on the shelves, and it affects a handful of people. It's the WHO. You see Japan when well, nothing don't do with the World Health Organization. Just like we shouldn't. Hawaii don't, many people, it's the fake governments. Most people don't have nothing to do with them. And then they got the nerve to bring mercenaries on our soil. Every one of them will be gone. Every one of them. Okay? It's not hate. It's a fact. It's well known. So there are people working with them who are telling people. This government has lost, it's, this, it's not, I don't want to call it government. These things have lost their mind. Who are acting like government. We have no time for those that be acting grimy. So most of them light skinned people, they ain't gonna say nothing. This is my soil. Alright, they just born here. This is my ancestral soil, Republic. A lot of our people murdered and dead by these bastards. And then the people who ain't do nothing are sitting here thinking that they're gonna circumvent a war here. When you're free, yo. The term a real slaughterhouse mean anything? That's for real. Some of y'all locked up so bad, don't nobody have to put chains on me. Sad to say that. Really, I am. I met some excellent people who I know, they're military. And that when they're called upon it and they're ignorant, they will 
because mm-hmm. fear and everything else. And because some people, y'all don't know, like people who go to special sports training or even those who like power lift and box, you want to test your skills. Even if you lose, y'all don't really get how it goes, man. Y'all really oh, have no man. idea. Let me get something with some fear. I'm not here to preach hate and create all this, that. I've been only attempting to get my brothers and sisters to come to me. How many of y'all ever heard that song, Watermelon Moonshine? By Laney. Wilson, with a big old junk in the truck. Now that's Bill skin girl. She got some sister and brother in her. And yes, I'd give her a hundred children if I could. But the thing is, Snoo, don't worry, but you know what I'm talking about. This is the reality of the reality of situation is so upside down on his head. Most people don't want to hear it. We're gonna cover a little bit of it. Look where your power at, no, not the mighty cats It's deeper than the taps and hurricanes and old maps The spirit flows, so my folks throw daps Meant for the wise as well as the score rats So you can fold up I was about to cut it off, y'all was in the middle, I had the scissors And it'd be like, the way it grew I'd have been, I was like, you know what, just let it, let it all grow in And then trim it as it gets bigger I'm gonna, I'm gonna let it grow Yeah, I got masks, I know how to put the mask on with a beard that's a old technique uh it doesn't work all the time and it involves vaseline yeah <laughs> but vaseline will break down the seal the rubber seal so i believe it'll be a one or two time use anyway so we'll see thirsty now papa let me drink the rest of this mushroom coffee because this uh, i didn't put nothing in it no cinnamon no honey just Drink it like it is. Still good. It's still good. I gotta look something up right quick. Um, make sure I'm not wrong. I'm not saying this is the answer. Bro. Yeah, my max speed production 
baby. You know what it is. Listen, I'm gonna tell you to fight back. There's no need to sell crack just to live back. Why don't black superstars simply give back? When they know it's a struggle just to live black. Can you picture that, Mr. Aristocrat? I'm coming from the bottom, rising to the top. And conscious is the tone on the CDs I drop. I won't flip flop like a black bass, but I will put a message in the song before I hook your ass. See, we first class living, worse than slaves of the earlier days. And we adapted the ways of the slave master. I stand upon it, the very rock which put your people in bondage. It's just to get a hundred The big face kind And it don't matter If it's making people Lose their freaking mind That's why I'm speaking mine Hopefully to change yours To pull you out of these streets From these drugs And strange whores Like we died inside, no longer having pride. We're we'll still for rides, a new skill to hide. And like the red tide, go and get our heads dyed. Rebel against the laws in the cities we reside. Sleep the circumstance, though our eyes open wide. Fail to coexist, let alone coincide. Eat chicken many ways, but prefer it fried. Like your man on death row when his relatives cry. It's death a mistake because somebody lied. And we can only pray that Christ is by his side. Convicted on the statement implied with no proof, now with the warning. Cry, did he kill another youth? I truly doubt it. That's why we stay in the booth. Just cause it ain't enough. We should demand it show proof. And if they overlook our voices, then we raise the roof. Which one of y'all do? Okay, 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 okay. Yo, what's cracking, y'all? <clears throat> so I want to go ahead and jump on a couple of things right quick. Let me uh, turn this down because I need to go ahead and turn it off. Okay. I really believe some of us, when we go live and we say things, it scares the, the behejas out of them. Like my lives, right? They would sit there and I put, check this out. This is how goofy they are. I put a thumbnail. And the first thing they do is they remove it. Who in the fuck are they to think they can remove my thumbnail? You see what I'm saying? And then they're always talking about ads. And the first thing they want to do is they want to, this is how goofy they are. They want to sit there and they, like a couple people told me a couple times they looked at the ads and it was about this fake Israel. And I made a note to message them, don't you ever put no goddamn thing about no war. See, they sit there and say they want you to talk about, they don't want you to speak on this, or they demonetize you, or this, that, and the other about war, or violence, and all that shit. Yet, YouTube is full of it. You've got some of these fake Jews on this land who have a YouTube channel, a million followers, 500 to 1,000 followers, who don't know history or anything, but because they're so steeped in the lies and they're perverse because they think that they're warlike. They're not war. They're warlike. All right? That if they blur out the faces and the body's being blown up, they can be monetized still. No, this is for real. There was an argument that's going back and forth because they want to want the war and they need the program, this goofy ass CIA and the corporation, whatever the fuck you want to call them. So that's being permitted now. But you say fake Jews to what the, they actually are. There's a problem. Man, we got to. I don't give a damn. My audience ain't no fucking fake Jews in the first place. It's people like me who know the truth. My audience, if they don't know how to put something, because they don't know how to put something in there as far as the ads go, then that's what I know. They know exactly what they're doing, just like I know exactly what I'm doing. Now, I go ahead and put an op Earl for my own kind of ads that I want to do. Let's say, let's say things don't go down for another three or four years, or I decide to stay here, right? And I decide to give it a certain drink or push a certain product that I am very aware third and sixth party tested. It's very safe and very good. It might be a little pricey, and they decide to sponsor me. I will have to insert maybe a video I do, cut it in with my uploads or whatever it is, right? You know, edit it in. And that's so be it. I just get the Earl, copy it in, put it, you know, on AdSense and everything, and which call studio, put it in, and there I got my own ads. But until then, if 
Right now, I'm gonna keep it 100. percent And these little these so called grown ups need to step back like little bitches and start being the men and women they act they carry themselves to be. I don't care about their gay agenda or anything. TikTok, you know it's all CIA, right? You don't know that? They attempt to say they don't want this, that, and the other, but they don't mind women laying up on a chair with the ass hanging out. The boobies where you barely can see the nipple. Walking around in the kitchen, it's a fad to make more money, get more views and follows because you got a lot of sick people out here. Now I follow some of them just to see what they're going to do. And then I I sit there and I record it and then I share it with people. I'm like, look at this. This is what we come to. Well, not us, but as a, as a, as a people. We're not people, but you get what I'm, I'm saying. And they go, dude, man. And then they come up with their own scripts. And you'll see some of them. You probably follow some of the pages. I'm not going to put their names up. They don't need me to. Okay. And I'm over there and I'm like, and I'm looking for Snoo and I'm looking for certain people, you know, um, which called one and Neil Sprays. I'm looking for people who are doing some things, spoken word. And I'm watching how they're messing with everybody over there. So I was live yesterday and I was giving them the battle axe of truth. Now they got people on there. They love that Palestine hate the Jews and the Jews hate the Palestine. Oh, that's all over over there. They're talking about, oh, we stopped your live because of hate speech. What hate speech? Because I'm educating people in the truth. Ah, you motherfuckers are so gummed up and fucked up. But hey, it doesn't bother me one way. I think they think I'm going to banter to be back on there. No, this is what they did. Oh, you can go back live and everything on April 20th. Like, I give a fuck. I wasn't going live in the first place. And they're like, we need him to go live. And I'm getting followers, 10, 20 followers every day. Like, I don't give a fuck about that platform. So as you see, they weren't careful. And they're never careful. And even right now, they're not careful because they think they're listening. They send a little ex little operatives over here because they're so stupid as if I don't recognize them if I can't smell them. Like, I won't say nothing because then I could be called crazy. Are you fucking retarded? Play that shit on my land with me and I eat you up with your own fake ass fucking rules and laws and procedures. See, that's how dumb they are. They're not careful. I'm not one of your fucking citizens. And when I said, leave me alone, it wasn't a fucking question. I wasn't asking you. You dumb reject fucks. Now, why did I say we are carnivores? Now, they got motherfuckers on here on YouTube. Now, I'm going to see if I can pull one up. Excuse me. I gotta put it in the right words because I don't, I don't like, I don't follow them and I don't remember their names. I want to get the main one who was really pushing it. Let's see if they got him up here. I told you he went to England, then all of a sudden he came back, and he's sitting there eating a big twenty-four ounce. Steak and oh yeah, Dr. Eric Westman. The truth about the carnivore diet. The doc the truth about the carnivore diet, Dr. Sean Baker. This is three years ago. And he's been pushing it. Now he's a doctor and he's in great shape, right? Obviously, they don't never tell you just like bodybuilders. He's using TRT and all that stuff. It's, I don't give a damn what anybody says. All right. These people, I got people following the carnivorous diet. Of course, you're gonna lose some weight. Of course, you're going to get some muscle because you got to remember beef, hybrid animal product, is full of amino acids. But what people, what these mothers don't know is that if you're getting sun, and that's why today I'm going out, I'm going to be in the sun for about five or six hours. If you're out in the sun, no matter what's going on, sun gazing and everything, and you're partaking of mineral water, and I'm going to show you some waters here in a minute, that your body, if you're getting the, with the photons, because you breathe, you create oxygen as well. Something they won't tell you. Okay? If you're intermittent fasting and you're not partaking in meat and you're allowing your gut to heal and you flush it from the parasites. Now, I'm not going to sit there and tell you what to get or what you can't get. But I'm going to advise you this. If you grow corn, take the silk, right? Like my great-grandma used to do and put it in some hot water. 
let it sit for about three to five minutes. And with the silk, corn silk in there, drink it. It ain't going to kill you to eat the corn silk, but make sure it's clean. Okay? This is a fact. And there are other things. You know, if you want acorns, steep them in water for a couple of days. Let them leach. You know what I'm saying? The corn, the corn can be taken with wild berries and boysenberries and mixed to make a little cookie that is healthy. Okay? Read up on how to leach acorns. Our ancestors used them to make bread. And we didn't call it bread, manna. Now, they got you believing manna is a certain vegetable or fruit. Man, stop listening to these mofos. They can't tell you anything about you and who you are. They are liars to the fourth of the fourth power. Okay? So you have him. You have um, Jordan Peterson. And... I want to, I'm going to bring something else into light before I even say something. Uh, as I said, you have the Fit and Father Project, pros and cons of all meat diet. And there are a lot of cons because what they're doing with the meat and worms. Most people will eat. The only way to get aminos, real aminos from a steak is to eat it medium rare. Do you know what's in the steak now? Now, if you're growing your own out there pasturing, you have no no. You have no issues with killing the living things. Because not, not only you and I are gods. I hate that term. But this illuminates something. Not only are we the light. We carry, our, we carry ourselves the shadow of the world they created that dampens and darkens our light because we refuse to allow it to shine. I just gave away $150 worth of beef. I, and even though it came from the rest, let's give it away. I'm not partaking no more. I know when people come here, I take them to some of the best hamburger and bison beef, burger places. Sometimes you got to know when to say enough. Do I like fish? Of course I like fish. We're actually not supposed to eat that either. I mean, you literally got humpback whales dying because they've eaten nothing but plastic. These bastards care nothing about this world. World. This earth. Except at least ours. And most people don't even know it. Okay? You can go and look at the moving average. You can go and look at um, Nikakoto shorts a year ago. I don't even know if the guy's still alive. Lily Kane, eating meat will make you tired. And it does. And she knows it. You can look at um, 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 MD, um, what's his name? Barry, Ken, Ken D. Barry or Barry D. Ken, whatever his name is. Go and look at these things. Find them on YouTube. Go to the web. They got web pages and stuff. Dr. Gondry, Gondry Podcast. Check it out for yourself. They will tell you things. And it has nothing to do with who you are. You're a carbon base and you alone my melanated brothers and sisters, world over, we create oxygen. Literally, we not only breathe out carbon, our body emits oxygen. So don't be using sunscreens. Don't be, you see me rub myself down with black seed oil. Do you know why? That's the only time that I want omega-9. Most time we don't need to consume omega-9. So instead of ingesting it now, I rub my feet where the biggest pore is at, around my neck, under my armpit, Y'all know I use lime for deodorant, and I use, I got Dr. Squash. I like that deodorant, the bourbon, it's phenomenal. It doesn't make me feel some kind of way, and I get all kind of sacks under where my nodes are because of the toxins filling up, going to your gold bladder, however it works, you know what I'm saying? But then you got Vegan, vegan Link, prominent cardiologist, superior diet. It's not meat. You're not supposed to put animal milks, solids, fats, none of that in your body. I know y'all say, well, red. All I do is I curtail, I get you to a certain point, and then I hit you with a little fact. See, they're going to tell you everything is fiction and make it a fact because they're going to say, in my opinion, oh, well, let me let me get it right. Excuse me. Let me let me let me situate myself so I can look like I'm some kind of half-ass professional. All right. <clears throat> no, this is not three years of stand-up comedy here. You can take it however you want. 
Uh, in my opinion, uh, Mama Duke and Mr. Bachon, what I would suggest is you go out there and take six of them pigs and two of them cattle and you slaughter them. And you boil the meat down with all the kind of good seasons you can find, and you sit back and you enjoy it. Now, in the morning, in the morning, you go ahead and cut you up a 24 ounce piece of that hind quarter, right? And you go ahead and you make sure you put it with briskets, or or if you got some uh, uh, hickory, and put it on the grill and just see the meat close and. Oh, don't let the blood go to waste. And oh, what, what what it'll do for your body. That's like saying stem cells. Didn't I just read an article on stem cells a couple of days ago? And it's a whole bunch of them. But they won't tell you that because there is a quick fix and a benefit for a moment. But you got to remember the people that's taking it. They just want to live in the moment. These are things that were never required. But they, they had to come and poison our beautiful world. There's a reason why I did the little video. Ooh, child, things are going to get easier. Ooh, you see what I'm saying? Five stair steps. All them real engines. Because we're going to make it a brighter day. We're going to make it a better way. It doesn't matter what they see. I don't care. They can be nosy. Zap all kind of this, that. I mean, UK just, oh, this is how disrespectful they are to Scotland. They went ahead and blew up a drone over Scotland. Like, you couldn't do it over the UK. These people are some sick bastards. You listening to me? They're sick. You don't have to be sick with them. Nor emotionally bound to the shit they've done. Let me help you understand something. All these so-called, I don't mind saying, black actors and comedians and songwriters, they don't got our car. They can stay right where they're at. We don't care if they let them go with all the perverted things they've done. Because, you know, the pale skins, the fake Jews are behind it all. Y'all see Wendy Williams, right, with the demon. She's still drinking. Her heart's all right. I guess they said we're going to let you live in misery because, you know, the Jews that were, them fake Jews that she had, that's how it is, all behind her was robbing her. Okay? That worthless nigga that she was with. Even her son looked kind of skimp. It's about the money. You see how it is? Show me one. The fact that Martin Lawrence and Will Smith was really having sex, I heard about that 10 years ago. And we was just quiet, like, oh, I guess it'll come out and watch. We didn't care. And people people we know had the proof. They've been to the parties. Lived on the same block. Yes. With Martin Lawrence doing like, Meek Mills did to Diddy. That wasn't Diddy doing it to Meek Mills. That was Meek Mills doing it to Diddy. That's why Gene Dill said he's picking up butt plugs. And even one video, he said it was different sizes. See, I don't care what they do, but they don't speak for us. They are not us. Unless you get into brothers. Um, What's the brother's name? There's a rap, bunch of rappers who know exactly who they are. There's a bunch of comedians who don't even be on the, the pork, who are never on the pork and bean network, who know who they are. They still use the term black, but they say, well, you know, I'll let you know. Look at the brother that just passed away a year ago, or whatever, Paul Mooney. You know, out of goddamn Africa. He knew he was from here. Nobody wanted to hear that. How about the other judge? Fuck Mathis. How about the other judge to tell you, what? This is our land. Now they talking black and white. That's which is fine. Mm-hmm. I got to make sure I'm looking good. Anywho, right? I'm looking at me. <laughs> Anywho, Lauren Hill, me and her, we always knew we was Indian. That's why she came up with that song, Miseducation of the Negro. But she still had a lot of them fake-ass Jews. And so she got away to Jamaica. She got with a dumb motherfucker. She shouldn't have never got with a few of them. They respect her because they know that some of us are... Mm-hmm. Anywho... Think about it. Eric Badu. She older, older than me. Look how fine she is. Ooh. She know who she is. Lord Jamal. Professor Griff. Don't get him. Don't get it fooled because he looks black and he supports. I support a lot of my brothers in Africa. A lot of them from here. But I love the ones who are even from over there. Hell, the Mali Empire. These motherfuckers. Let me read something to y'all. Let me see if I can pull this up right quick. I want to see. I want you to see how crazy these fools is. I'm, 
This is what these goofy George O'Wenley, in fact, the pickle one, these fake ass juice. <laughs> they are some nutcases, man. They bomb and kill all the people. And when I ran, their brothers come over there to bomb them fake ass places. People call them that Israel because they want to create World War Three so bad or whatever the fuck they want to title it. All right. Then you got this fake ass president. The motherfucker that all of a sudden can talk real straight and walk pretty good. That ain't Biden, motherfucker. Just don't do it. He's Biden for it. Today. He wants it done. They was talking about peace. They don't mean peace. They don't know what peace is. Because you got a bunch of sick things behind the military industry, a complex, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Oh. Anywho, because this because of this. This is why. The worst fucking mistake they did. And 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 they calculated fucking wrong. And I'm gonna stand by that. Not because I have to, because I know. And they're hard headed and they're gonna stay to they they're gonna stay to it because see we when you get that blood less it runs on. So the Mali Kingdom and Mansa Musa were imperialist slave traders. Bullshit. Balanta Birusa, history and genealogy society in America. Fucking lies. That's a lie. No uncon listen to this. No uncontro no uncontroversial evidence. No uncontroversial. Let's pull this motherfucking word up. Before I even go any further, to show you how they think they smart, but I'm gonna show you how dumb they fucking is. All right, not likely, not likely. Do you do I need to look up not likely to be disputed or to cause strife or quarrel? Let's go the fuck back. Oh, let me let me add a sentence. Not relating to or arousing controversy. What the fuck was that? Sir? What purpose did that serve? That means, oh, without a doubt, this is what they're making a statement on, as if they know when they weren't there. Hold on. No, un no uncontroversial evidence of pre-Columbian contact between Africa and Americas has ever been found. And that shows you they're full of shit. It wasn't called fucking Africa. And during the starving times, not twice, but thrice time, thrice, we took grain, pumpkins, watermelons, and everything, and even showed them how to cultivate it because we had people stationed over there, just like when we met motherfucker Hernandez Zarco, who they made a fake Christopher Columbus to create some fake white motherfucker supremacy, just like all the fake motherfuckers they said signed the declaration were all Negro. Not one of these pale, retarded motherfuckers they showed to give these dumb motherfuckers some fake history so they feel superior when they ain't superior at all because they didn't take over this fake-ass government that you see ex existing right now. They didn't take it over until after the Reconstruction, well, right during the end of the Reconstruction period. Prove me fucking wrong with your fake-ass Washingtons and you got Lincoln up there with his big-ass throw knowing good and well he was a Negro, you fucktards. And then you got people talking about he's from Africa. So we, we find out the truth. Let's make him out of Africa. That bullshit. Now you got pale skins running around. Okay, we all come from Africa. Then take your ass back over there because you wasn't here first. You come along. And this is no hate, motherfucker. But if y'all want to talk stupid like you know something, bring your ass on over there. Stay the fuck over there if that's the case. Like them Chinese who only there for the minerals, even though they is the first niggas. And that's where y'all came out of. That's why I said read about the Desert Devils. When you first conquered the Ethiopians, which they fought back and knew how to hit high in the fucking mountains. But you went over there and hit up them Hindus. And they don't know fucking the truth about anything because they don't even know the true history. And the ones that do, grab the smoking ganja. Eat no meat, got dreadlocks, and they skinny as fuck, and they don't want no parts to do none of y'all in Bangladesh and a few other places where they call all of a sudden like the ghettos, the slums. Want me to name two other places? And then right on there, you kept rolling. You kept rolling to all the different countries until you found your way to Russia and Prague, UK, and Germany, and you kept fighting and poisoning everybody as you met them. People going, look, the lepers are okay. Look, they look clean. They weren't clean. That's why they put the shit in the Bible. And what they do, they set up all over the place in great numbers and already had a plan. Well, at dinner, let's cook. Poison them all. Millions upon millions of the indigenous people all around the world died, looked like us, melanated like us. And that's why the Atrians, uh, the Atrian, Atrians always come over. That's why the Dogon and everybody know the truth. And everybody else, even the Malis, who I served with two guys in the Navy who were from the fucking Mali Empire. When I went and drank them 12 drinks and talked to that 80, 90, what the fuck, 87, 85, 90, 87, 85 year old Masons in Scotland, they let me know. 
And they didn't ask, but I could see it in their eyes. And I, I forgave them. The part that their relatives and, and played in murdering all the people of those lands. That's how I knew about Philippines and Vietnam. You know the original people there look like the people in Papua New Guinea? Hmm. How many of y'all ever been to Vietnam, nigga? Why well, I want to go over there and kill people that look like me? Ain't that right, Ali? See, you motherfuckers love the world they gave you. And the first thing that y'all got involved with in our music, not the scat, that was perverted in Harlem and Mississippi. But our jazz. First thing you created the crossroads and created Masonic because you pushed our brothers out as you hijacked that. Now, after that, was our country music. And you Satanized that motherfucker. It don't matter. They want to say Nimrod it, Gilgamesh it. It don't fucking matter what term you want to use. Don't you ever disrespect Lucifer name again, motherfuckers. And then you turn around. And you started destroying all, destroying all our grand trees that were bigger than the fucking redwoods, you fucks. Looking for the weapons we used before. While making all these wars to eradicate the history the best you can. While still poisoning our grand fucking people. And our light-skinned brothers who are our relations. So they're still trying to say, who was the black man who discovered America? Estebanico, 15, 15, 1539. Actually, he was a part of gang James' entourage. Also known as Esteban de Dorantes and Estebanico the Moor. What did the Moor mean? It only meant black. Nothing else. He's a great seafarer. He didn't need to be called a fucking Moor to sell the seas. You didn't call the she, the she people, Moors. You didn't call, we want to call fucking Moors for you moronic motherfuckers. Still using that term more as it's supposed to apply to mean something because they wrote it in. That means it's a fucking lie. They fucking weapons and everything perverse. If they only learn how to fucking know. You know what these dumb motherfuckers are saying? Some great Hollywood narrative. Okay, maybe we made a choice. Well, we need to clean this up as if it's going to work. This is how stupid and they don't know that they're stuck it doesn't matter what they're doing they just don't know and you know they still have a chance but these motherfuckers the only chance they take is completing their task at hand because of that how stupid and how deeply rooted in darkness they are how do you fix all the fucking shit you did feeding people human meat tissue Making the animals, these hybridized things, they've been pumping animal, human DNA in since motherfucking the 1940s or 50s or 60s. That's right. All them steaks and all that shit. Are you aware that when we created the commode and we had all the trains and all that, we never put shit in the fucking ocean? But the first thing these monk of fucking dudes, they, they do, you know what they do? They pump it so they go into the rivers and all the streams knowing they run off. Knowing they putting poison in the food and everything. Look at all the cereals and shit full of FD red 40 yellows and this, that, and glass of fates and all that shit. They knew exactly what they were putting in when they made it with these weird dark fucking scientists of dumb fucks that walk around you all the time. And then the nerve, now the greatest thing that Japan did is says, fuck, we ain't fucking with Bill Gates. This motherfucker ain't allowed on this land while he's still here. Right? Because you motherfuckers won't stand up. You won't say enough is enough, only a handful will. Man, fuck reposting my video if you got a problem with it. Why don't y'all start being the voice of reason? I want you to see the black gourmet, these goofy motherfuckers. Did black people arrive in America's before Columbus? These are those dumb college Greek motherfucking dumbasses. Most of us were taught that Christopher Columbus discovered America in 1492. We were also taught that the first black people to arrive in America were enslaved Africans. What if none of these were true? In fact, 
There is strong evidence pointing to the fact that Columbus was probably not the first non-Native American to set foot in America. So if Columbus was not first, then who was? Christopher Columbus, see these dumb niggas? First arrived on the American continent in 1490. I would like to debate one of these motherfuckers. He left Europe holding, hoping to find a direct route. See, when you think you're smart and you go on by the education system they get and everybody gives you all these things and accolades and, oh, you got the Merit of Ribbon of the, and you, you got the PD Award, all this shit. Because she's a dumb nigga. Let me finish reading. A group of them. And they'll just salute you and have you at big dinners and yeah, and then you be in the parties and then you really find out. Anyway, <clears throat> Christopher Columbus first arrived on the American continent in 1492. He left Europe hoping to find a direct route to Asia and instead stumbled upon the Americas. He became known as the man who discovered the new world of the Americas. And Columbus Day is ob observed on the second Monday in October each year. First, let me back up and talk about the use of the word discovery. For a second. Oh my goodness. Well, this has got to be coming out the Oxford. The very next word, the, well, the Oxford Dictionary the definition of the word is this an act or the process of finding somebody something or learning about something that was not known about before. Now, the question then became if America was known by the Native Americans because they lived there, how can one say that they discovered it? On the other hand, some people claim that the simple definition of discovery is seeing something for the first time allude to that, in which case we all discovered America. I came here in 2008, so I can also claim I discovered America in 2008. You know it had to be some foreign monkey, right? We're going to get to that. Hold on. Motherfucker so busy trying to kill people. Well, how about when people stop wanting to be killed and start fighting the fuck back? You got enough puppets in costume ready? That's only a matter of time, not even an if. Anyway, note that the term America here refers to the continent America. Anyway, this is besides the point of this topic. The point is that contrary to what most people believe, the presence of black people in America may not have begun with slavery. In fact, evidence shows that West Africans have sailed across that land. West Africa didn't even exist until we popular, populated the motherfucker. The Atlantic Ocean to the Americas at least 180 years before Christopher Columbus. There was no West Africa. You can look at the fucking maps. It was a grand city that is no longer there, destroyed by fucking Leopold and all the other fucking fake-ass Pelicans when they came up out of there and went back because they couldn't even maintain the cities they had there. All right, and before they caused you motherfuckers to flee there by the first segregation, you dumb motherfuckers. Anyway, in particular, let me introduce you to Mansa Abu Bakr, the second king of the ancient kingdom of Mali in West Africa. Mansa Abu Bakal was an educated man who was curious to know what was behind the Atlantic Ocean. In 1311, he sent some, no, he wasn't. He already knew about us. He knew we were here as they were there. Dumb fucks. In particular, let me introduce the Mansa Abu Bakal in a second. King of the ancient kingdom of Mali in West Africa. Mansa Abu Bakal, you could say Bakal was an educated man who was curious to know what was behind the Atlantic Ocean. And in 1311, he sent, excuse me, some of his men with enough provisions to last them, last them years on 200 ships to explore the limits of the ocean. He ordered them to not return until they find what is behind the Atlantic Ocean. It is said that only one ship returned, and when asked what happened, the captain responded, we traveled for a long time, and there appeared in the open sea a river with a powerful current. And the other ships went on ahead, but when they reached that place, they did not return, and no more was seen of them. As for me, I went about it once and did not enter the river. So King Abu Bakr, too, decided to assemble even more ships, 2,000 to be exact. He equipped them with food, water, livestock, gold, and other provisions, left the throne to his brother, Mansa Musa, and went to explore himself. They apparently never returned, so the question is, did they ever reach the Americas? This is a fake ass fucking story, a lie and told over and over and over. They apparently never returned. So the question is, did they ever reach the Americas? Looking at evidence that modern historians, archeologists and researchers are now bringing to light, the answer appears to be yes. The evidence is source I found to support include, and you need to read this shit for yourself. I'll tell you where to go, go to the Black Gourmet website, okay? if you're interested in that garbage all right because 
there's books and records that have come out, and a lot of you have seen it, and some of you have seen people talk about it, that show that many so-called kingdoms have been coming here for a very long time, visiting, giving thanks, no praise, we don't do that shit, giving thanks, gratuity, and showing that they're excellent discipline. As I was traveled the world, how else can I was be over there in fake ass Europe, Italy, right? I'm visiting goddamn Hernando Hernandez Zarco on several three to several fucking occasions. Same thing with the Anu people, the Hatak they called us. How about the people in the G Islands when we were giving them warning and we left people who later become monks and the fake history out of fake Hindu, right? Who were teaching them how to fight. And certain weapons that we carried ourselves here. And the star forts that seem to mystis, 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 um, mysteriously just be starting to be found every fucking where. That we showed them how to erect and build. That we had from the Florida Keys all the way up to goddamn the fake Statue of Liberty. All the way out to the, to the island they call California, which was actually Carolina. How about the fact in South America they hide all those star forts? In Cuba. On the great reefs, huh? England, Scotland, Ireland. I visited two of the Scot the, the the goddamn star forts in Edinburgh, Scotland, and and in UK. These fucks have fucked the pooch, and now all they can do is find a way out. It's a fake ass reset, but create war, so they can carry on their perversions. Man, y'all better be ready to fight. And I don't advocate violence, but enough of this shit. And all these, all these goddamn pale skins, because everybody needs to have some kind of white hero or these dumb Negroes. Like somebody got to have somebody to fall down on. Let them be. Let them tell their fake ass history. Let them make up some shit. I've already included them. But the problem is, they don't like to come over. You think I'm here to be dramatical and feel, fulfill your fucking feelings and your emotions? No, I'm here for some other shit. I'm not playing when I said I know how it fucking ends. And there ain't nothing they can do to change it. Nothing they can change the direction. But they're too fucking gone and too stupid for that. That's why they have the little monkeys who control these platforms who can't say nothing to the dumb actors in hand. Because that's what they are. They got handlers. These are actors. And you motherfuckers talk about them like they're fucking something. Look, the fake ass FBI, what they, I mean, the, the ATF, what they just do? They turn around and created another fucking rule. You can't see all, you see the videos, all of them have gay. What the fuck is that? Because they're men and they get TRT and steroids. I was still, I used to see a lot of them over there in uh, in, in um, Washington Square Park. Not Washington Square, Washington Square Park over in the Village. I used to, my sister used to, like to look. Iron Bound has some of the bad, best jazz places. But you can see the motherfuckers walking around. And I was like, what the fuck is this? But y'all don't want to believe nothing, huh? They don't give a fuck about no constitution. They don't care a fuck about the original people of this land and the dumbasses they convinced otherwise. Those people ain't smart enough to know the truth. They are so sacked and fucked up in the head, they can't even get their heads about their own ass to realize, you know what? We have to make an about face. We ain't begging nobody for shit and asking nobody for nothing. You don't see the fact that these so-called Native Americans is the fucking thing that kept the country going it's our spending habits and the fake ass corporation that kept militarizing everything because of our power and what we can do even in the perversions of what we've done you want to hear it yes you are the UDN motherfucking people and we're spread all over the four corners and most of them are pretty stupid as well and then they got these black Hebrew like motherfuckers running around just creating more fucking darkness that even when it comes to light they better straighten the fuck up I don't give a fuck what they was. Police, whatever the fuck. And there's a reality, man. There's a situation reality. There's a situation norm and abnorm. How do you abscond from one and go to the other? Because your position, you think you're something great? Y'all better get it the fuck together. That was my acting role right there. It was pretty good. You know I don't like talking like that. 
But the reality is, what I'm stating is not a fucking lie. And there's some things in this world, and I'm not giving it no energy. You just need to know, and don't you go fretting about it, that are dark, and they're not mysterious. They're fucked up, and they will fuck you up, because y'all aren't prepared. You're too weak. There's even other people starting to tell motherfuckers, get out them cities. I saw it the other day. I'm like, oh, so people watching over here and they're catching on, telling people to get out them cities and them and them suburbs. But the problem is, you're probably too goddamn late because you're slothful and lazy. You'll become what the enemy has conditioned you to be. Instead of swinging a pickaxe and a shovel and learning something with your phones and all that shit in the garbage, becoming something more than what you are, you lazy motherfuckers. You know that this is a condition for real? This is a real fucking condition. There are motherfuckers that will put this shit down and they got stuck in this in, 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 in Bellevue crazy down there on First Street down there by the VA in Manhattan. Stuck like this. And talking about booties, booties, booties. Ah, uh, veterans. And this shit, the frequency is stuck. See if you can pull some videos up. Little kids. Ah, uh, stuck open. Think they're playing a game. You think I'm kidding? You think I'm just making this shit up? When them neurons are fucked up because you're too weak to control it, and all they keep doing is adding more poisons and more poisons, why is that every country around the world is not using? Most places aren't using high fructose corn syrups or corn solids, cotton seed oils and all this other shit, trans, that shit that fucks you up. They are using putting chemicals in the toilet paper, diapers, and the tampons remember that shit that's why my boy q he's got a damn brand of tampons and stuff that women can utilize that will not harm you he was one of the first ones re um, recyclable i'll go ahead and pull it up again and i'll share that with you let me go talk to q dog and put that up so that way y'all for you women you can order from him instead of fucking with this shit some of you've gotten pretty wise men Stop using every deodorant and stop using that fluoridated goddamn toothpaste. There's more shit than the fluoride that's deadly in that motherfucker. They did all this shit intentionally. Nah, nobody paid attention. Your mammies and your pappies were slept like a motherfucker because that wasn't part of the dynamic when they were coming up. Why the fuck would they accept it? Because they become slothful and lazy and a bunch of pussies. Quincy Jones... Why that motherfucker ain't getting hit up because he got a hundred children? Well, he's a fucking... He ain't no fucking body. He's part of the perversion. Just like Clive Davis. All them sick summer bitches. But what do y'all do? I'm going to start just listening to the black country singers. Fuck all the rest of this shit. So if y'all got some music you've been singing, I don't want to hear that Beyonce shit, even though I kind of like the song. All right? I sing a little country. Oh, I sure do. It's time to take back what was always a, what was always ours in the first motherfucking place. And stop entertaining these fucking itty things that have been utilized, absconded, to pervert our fucking music, any our harmony, any fucking further. So not only did they change it, what was that, 1939? To that 440 frequency, they even manifested the music to put out spells over every fucking body. And when I saw, when I heard that mumble shit, I knew right then and there who had hit it. Because ain't no nigga gonna come out talking about some... What the fuck was that? Like a motherfucker was bent over getting... American mead. <laughs> anyway, let me stop before they over up. I have, I have them too goddamn triggered. You see, they had the motherfuckers come in and run. Who else came up in here? And now, uh, thanks for the donations yesterday. Um, I didn't order the books yet. I said I would go ahead and do it, right? Now, we'll wait for a couple more donations before I order anything. Because I only put $200 in that account. And um, I probably need to put another 50 Because I, really, I have some books that I really want to order. So I'm going to come back on and read. And hopefully we'll get it there. And if we do, and I'll show you the books that I'm going to go ahead and order. And I'll order them right here. Because you guys just order them. You can see all the orders on my in my account. All my orders and returns and all that stuff. But as I said, I've ordered a whole lot of fucking books, y'all, in the last two, three weeks. Okay? I ordered another remote, too, uh, um, Ganja. 
we'll sell all this shit in the open house. So maybe we'll bring the Xbox with us. But I, I want to go ahead and get one of those projectors because we don't want no, we don't need no widescreens. I know you probably got one in the house. Fuck all that for me. But we'll set up a sheet like old school or build a little wall on the project movies and everybody enjoy because I'm going to keep most of the cassettes. But we got to start swinging the axe, man. We got to start getting things right. But uh, I went ahead and um, ordered a couple other books. Well, quite a few, actually. But there's a whole bunch that I really want to order. And uh, let me t action required. What happened? Let me see. Okay. Why are they doing this? Oh, they use it. I got the right shit in there, and they and they and they continue like they redressing what the fuck I ordered, like with an old account or account that's not meant that the account for books. They put it on my other account where I keep in the savings that I transfer the check. Hey, what the? F I need to pull everything out these goddamn fake ass banks and that they robbed from us any goddamn way. Payment information has been locked in, saved, good. That was just a, a that was a book I ordered the other day. Okay. So it's another book based on the, the book of wisdom. It's for those who don't know who didn't see it, I'm gonna share it with you right now because I like for y'all, for those who like to read. Now there's there's two more books that are phenomenal beyond this. Now I don't read this whole thing. The other I finished it up last night. And you see me, you know me, I get the dinging up now. I, I really didn't want to mess this up like my old comics, you know what I'm saying? But Laying in the bed, sitting up in the edge with a six shooter by my head, reading a book, but I'm not trying to wake the dead. <laughs> okay, the other one that y'all really want to get involved in is the Protocols of the Goys for Zion. You really, really need to read that. That's fucking like two hour, three hour. For those who really are prolific, prolific readers, two to three hour read. You want to talk about informative? Attempt to make sense of them together. Now, I'm still reading this motherfucker. You can see where it's marked at. Ooh, child. Well, you know, they got a lot of lies, but God damn it, they ain't got a lot of information up in now. Oh, jeez. And I'm still, I actually sent her a message to ask her about the third installation to Heaven Bearers, because you know, we got that one, and you know I had to get the part two. It's three or three. I can't find it on Amazon. I couldn't find it on Thrift Books. I've looked at the two other books, Zion Books, and a couple other places. Um, so I'm going to go to Etsy and see what they pull up. But yeah, Heaven Bearers, book three, I don't think it's out. So I'm waiting for her to send me. I probably won't get it about Monday or Tuesday in Gmail, so that way I'll have a knowledge. And for the other ones who want to know something, I know some of y'all need this information, right? So I'm going to give you these books right here, because you know I got... Whole bunch up there in the front and under the thing. If you if, 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 for the Native Americans, you pale skins that have a hard time, especially some of you pale skins who know good goddamn well that your great grandmammy was a nigra, a negro. And your great great grandpappy and mammies were negroes. You sell out, motherfuckers. It only take two generations to change how we look. Go look at Tiger Wood. We only name about three others. Anyway, look at his son and his son's son. Go ahead and get that one. It's a good book. It's, I'm not big on it, but it's a good book. It's, it's got some good information in there. It actually does. I, I sat down and read that yesterday. Not out of Africa. You already know I got the original one. So you don't have, you can get, you can actually get the one. Uh, this is by Mary Lefkowitz. One of them Jews that like to tell the truth. But she used a lot of the terms and shit that we know is no good. And it demeans us further. Then the other one, this one right here. Um. Did this really get stuck? This is one of those green cards I got for somebody to go ahead and send them some money. And they ain't listen to me and they ain't do the right thing. So I guess the money's still on the card. I don't give a fuck. But this one right here, Black People Are Indigenous to America's Research Material for the Inquisitive, Kimberly R. Norton, to which you know she used John Ogilvy shit. And this is one of those fraternity Greek system motherfuckers. So that's why you got to turn black. But that is to reach, because you know I got I to gotta reply, because I have a lot of material written out there. I can't mention no more than that because then they think I'm ego stroking myself. But she only did that so that way and grab your attention. If she's using the other word, most melanated people who are like us will never even look at it. And black is the first way to grab them. Now, subconsciously, that is still 
an inferior, inferior, inferiority complex and kind of destructive because people will further give energy to a narrative that really doesn't belong to us. Now, when we start going into talking about friends, Boaz and all those other individuals, we can start to disseminate. But who has and, and break it down? Well, who has all that time and all that to put all that effort in? Now, I can, you know, I have right here. I can just go up here and start zipping over. Right. And and get right to the topic on all those individuals who played a role in that crap of the stoicisms and the lies. OK, again, I embraced all the ones and I got about 2000 tabs up there again now. So it's just me. And I don't, that's on that. That's not even on the goddamn duck, duck growth. And that's definitely not on brave. No one continue. God damn it. So the brave one, ah, man, I got so many tabs. I guess some Chinese are loving that motherfucker. But even on duck, duck, go this one, I went ahead because I was dealing with archives and I like to read in the archives. And so I only put one tab. I had about a thousand on there. I got rid of them. So this is what I was reading. Can you see it? Oh, excuse me. Oh, here we go. Chronological history, West Indies. This is what I've been reading also. And and I've been reading that for a little while now. Um, it's just, I like to, I like to expose things when people read stuff. And I like to go in there and go to a contact. And, and very boisterously, if it's out of character or it's steeped in a fucking line, under my, <laughs> throw it at him. Because, see, most of these dumb motherfuckers have already made their papers because you know you can get paid doing this. And they won't take that bullshit down and people will go read it. And you'll hear people t talk and you'll realize where they're talking and get their information from instead of them doing some research to better the predicament and the position. You dig what I'm saying? So, anyway, I got you. Lord, Devin, um, I got you, Herbo. You know, I got, I got Snoo Snoo and, and I got Ganja. Marcus, what's going on, beloveds? I want to make sure I got everybody. Okay. Benji Nam Sid, you're a grand ascension, beloved. What's happening, man? All right. It's new. Yeah, you know I gotta have my baby up in there. I am baby girl slaughter. Hey, grand ascension. Huh? How you doing, hon? How's everybody doing over there? Could airships come back? They ain't gone nowhere, beloved. They still use them. They're just being used by the military. How do you think they get these satellites up there and shit? Besides the ones that go up on balloons, helium, or whatever you want to call it. You dig? <laughs> Biden is bidding for war. He's a sick bastard. Anyway, I appreciate y'all. I know they want to keep my numbers and views down because everybody wants to come over and get information. Motherfuckers don't want to hit like on anything. Now, there's a lot of you here. Y'all ain't like on my other videos. I don't give a fuck if you don't like it. Just hit the like. Go back. Hit the like on the goddamn videos. What's wrong with y'all? We still suffer. Did any of y'all suffer from ADHD? Attention deficit? Hyper disorder or some shit? H88? D, whatever the fuck it's called? I hope not. For your sake. Okay. Now, you know, I appreciate y'all. We're eternally bonded. I hate that word love. I really do. It's meaningless because whenever time people talk about love, the first thing you think about is destruction. Why we got to say we love each other? That's negative energy. I already wrote to you the origin of the word. It is reverse. It is backwards. Many words are. Many words are upside down and inverted. Many words are created in an illusion. I didn't give you that black and red, the island, as a, you know, to subjugate you. I gave it to you because it serves real purpose. And most of y'all didn't even look into that. They even go see where the truth may lie in that. Like, stop being your own purgatory, my beloveds. Come around, man. And I know people got to run and you got to do this, that, and other. It's a fucking so-called Sunday, the first day of the week. And also, another thing, we say March. I don't want to hurt people's feelings. It's the new year. Actually, it's April, motherfuckers. That's why they tell you April fools. I said that like eight years ago when I was on the res, and people says, you crazy, even at the gas station. April first came around. I was running around with a little thing on my hat that I made that said "Happy New Year," and motherfuckers looking at me like that. I said, "Hey, Happy New Year for you, motherfuckers that celebrate all this shit." What are you talking about? We heard maybe March. Ah, uh, you heard wrong. Anyway, now motherfuckers are starting to catch on. 
You see how shit spread like wildfire, even from the smallest source? So be the smallest source because you're bigger in the limelight of truth than in lies. Appreciate y'all. I'm going to close this out with this one with another one of my favorites. I want to play some goddamn country music. Okay. But just, Mac B, you know I like this motherfucker right here, man. Right here. Make sure this Fucking live.